Hello, good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good evening. Let's wait one second, one minute for the rest of the class. Okay, let's get started. All right, so yesterday we were looking at used to, right? And we were making positive statements with used to, negative statements, and questions with used to. ¿Qué quiere decir used to? It's to talk about something that que tú solías hacer, something that uh, maybe a practice or um, a custom that you used to do in the past. For example, when I was younger, when I was little, I used to play baseball. That is something I used to do. Okay. Now I can say it in negative. I didn't used to play baseball. Or I can ask a question. Did you used to play baseball? So we have three different things. Now, hay una cuarta que es WH with did. What did you used to do when you were little? Right. So there's four different questions. <clears throat> hey, perdón, four different type of sentences that we're going to do. So. Ahí se la voy a escribir en el, en el chat. Number one, you can say, uh, I used to play baseball when I was little, when I was a kid. That's the first one. Or maybe you can speak in negative. Number two, I didn't use used to play baseball okay number two look at the chat meeting el chat now quiero que vean algo in number two i use did did okay and i use the negative didn't now meeting el verbo used está en su forma normal ¿Por qué? Porque ya usé did, el auxiliar. Okay, so uh, number three, when you ask a question, did you used to play baseball when you were a kid? Question, right? And number four, dijimos que podemos usar WH. What type of sports did you used to play when you were little? Little no me refiero a estatura, sino que en edad. So that is number four, right? Aquí se la voy a poner en el chat. Permíteme. Okay. So look at the chat. We have four different type of question, uh, sentences, right? Positive, negative, questions with did, and questions with WH. Okay? Now, quiero que ustedes me escriban unos ejemplos. Puede ser cualquiera. One, two, three, or four. Whatever you want. Uh, in the chat. 
Ok. ¿Están escribiendo? ¿Sí? Ok. Give me some examples. Por lo menos uno. No tienen que darme los cuatro de un solo. I played video games when I was a kid. Eh, yes, Raúl, solo que no está usando la estructura. Used to. Estamos usando la estructura used to. Ana, did you buy the meat? Sí, pero no está usando la estructura used to. Como en los ejemplos que yo le di. Used to. Michelle, I used to play basketball on Sundays. Very good. Correct. Nestro. I didn't use to work in a factory. Very good. Okay. Eric, I used to eat lunch early. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Game okay, Christian. Okay. Uh, Raul, can you correct it and send me another one? Anna? Haga la corrección. Used to. Used to. What type of food did you used to like to eat? Very good. Very good, Stephanie. Good job. Okay, más? Give me another example. Try to do a question. What about questions? Anna says, did you used to buy the meat? Okay. Yes, that's correct. Raul, I used to play video games when I was a kid. Yes, that's correct. What did you used to do in kindergarten? Yes, Rafael, very good. Excellent, good job. Okay. So, eh, terminaron la worksheet? About used to? Did you finish? Okay, so here you have three different type of sentences. Used to, negative, I didn't use to, and questions. Okay, esta no contiene la, la, la cuarta que aprendimos, pero vamos a practicar con esta. Okay, number one. Ah, let's, let's go over the verbs. Remember the verbs, okay? Uh, you have the verbs attend. <laughs> Below, uh, no, blow, no. blow, es soplar, build, when you're uh, constructing something, climb, when you're going up a hill, or maybe you're climbing a ladder, do, dress, drink, drive, drive in a car, right, fly, like uh, flying an airplane, Give, go, half, mow. Mow is when you're cutting the grass. Pay and play. Ride, like riding a bicycle. Skip. Skip uh, puede ser salta cuerdas, okay? Or maybe brincar, skip. And then solve. When you... Um, you find the answer to a problem, solve, okay? Very good. All right, let's go. Help me out, let's complete it very quickly. Number one. I used to build. I used to build, yeah? Creo que va en minúscula todo. Okay, number two. Um, Carla, number two. 
Molly blank coffee when she was in primary primary school? Um, eh, tiene que ir de acuerdo a la foto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Eso depende si va a usar positivo o negativo. But you look at the picture, what is she, what is she doing? Drink, right? So you're going to use drink. Entonces, ¿cómo sería, Carla? Carla, creo que se fue. Ah, no, no, su micrófono está apagado, por eso no la escucho. Sorry. Uh, Molly use, um, used to drink yes. when, she was, uh, when she was in primary school. Very good, very good. Rafael, number three. Excuse me about Molly. I, I just, mm -hmm. I thought that it could be negative because, I mean, using the logic, uh, a child is not really common to drink coffee, mm. right? Puede ser. It could be. It could mm -hmm. be, right? Did, did, you, did you finish? Did you finish the this exercise? No, I didn't. I, I, I okay. almost finished. Okay, bueno, al I final didn't. vamos a chequear y, y puede que ten, tenga razón. Um, number four, Rafael, I'm sorry, number three, Rafael, try to finish. Yeah, um, my four. My father blank a kite with me in the park when I was a kid. What verbs are under? The verbs are attend, blow, build, climb, do, dress, drink, drive, fly. Fly. Yes. Fly. Mm -hmm. Used to so fly. It has to be my father used to fly a kid. A kid with me in the park when I was a kid. Okay, good job. Number four. Now, uh, aquí vamos a usar la lógica. Porque puede ser como Rafael estaba explicando. En algunos no aplica. So, entonces, si no aplica, va a ser negative. Michelle, can you do number four? Mr. Smith? Just a question, excuse me. Mm -hmm. It said my elder. It has to be older. It's a mistake or, or Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith blank taxes when he was 15 years old. No, no. He's talking about his age. I don't know. Excuse me. I was correct. No, in the you know, account style del vehículo. Ahí en la misma línea. My elder brother. It is no, older. You can, say, you can say older or elder. It's okay. <clears throat> oh. You can say <clears throat> Excuse me. Normally we say older. I use older. But it's okay. You can use older. That's fine. Okay, number three, Michelle. Mr. Smith blank taxes when he was 15 years old. Mr. Smith paid taxes when he was mm -hmm. 15 years old. So look, at the name you said used to. Look. Uh, yes, sorry. Used Mr. To... Smith used to pay taxes uh -huh. when he was 15 years old. Yeah. Yes, it's correct. Solamente que creo que va a ser didn't used to pay taxes. Why? Because a los 15 años tal vez no está pagando impuestos. You know, impuestos estatales. <laughs> so maybe I think it's going to be didn't used to. Pero voy a ponerla como tú me dijiste. Uh, used to pay. Very good. So maybe that one we have to change it. Okay. Number four, uh, five. Uh, let's see. Nestro, number five. The verbs, the way I enseñar los verbs. What do you think? Play. Yes, puede ser play, but look at, uh, remember I say, sol, well, eh, sol, había una que era como saltar, a verb, that meant like, like she's doing, ahí como está haciendo ahí en la foto, que está saltando cuerda. Skip. Okay. Yeah, skip. 
Ok, so, ¿cómo sería? Used to, ¿cómo? She. Alice. Uh -huh. Alice used to skip, skip. a rope in the school. In the school ah, no, 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 look. Question. Question. Entonces. ¿Cómo está la question? Aquí te voy a mostrar. Did she? Mm -hmm. Did. You can say she. Yo creo que aquí vamos a usar el nombre. Did Alice. Mm. Used, used to. to. Skip. Okay. So I think that's going to be correct. It's a question, right? Yes. All right. Very good. Um, Andrea. Number six. My elder brother blanked me to school. He was too young. My elder brother used to um, drive me to school. He was, no. Uh, didn't. Again, okay, I'll do that again. Uh -huh. My elder brother didn't uh, used to drive me uh, to school. He was uh -huh. too young. Didn't used to drive. Very good. Okay, good job. And who wants to do it? Raul? You can do the next one. Alan blank his tricycle in the house when he was four. Look at the verbs. Drive, drink, play, ride. What do you think, Raul? ¿Qué está haciendo el niño? What is he doing? ¿Eh? Lo, lo siento, lo siento, he tenido pérdida de conexión, no sé si puedo reponer. Sí, aquí estamos. ¿Puede ver mi pantalla? Alan. Alan, ajá. Ah, ok. Alan used to... to um, Look at the verbs. Try. Try. Yes, try. very good. Right, okay, right, ok. Alan used to ride his tricycle in the house when he was four. Very good. Okay, next one. Uh, Carla, maybe you want to help me with the next one. I blank speeches at the age of 10. Su micrófono. See, um, to teach, um, I used to, I used to, I need the verbs. Right there. Mm. So what is dar in English, the verb? Give. Give. Mm -hmm. I used to give. Species at the age of 10. Yes, very good. Okay. Next, uh, let's see, Wilfredo. Next, we blank a pet before we move to the city. The birth? Mm. Let's see. Drink, dress, do. Attend, flow, build, climb, do, dress, drink, drive, fly. Go. Ah? Go. We used uh, to. We used to. Uh -huh. And we, uh, we used to uh, uh, go. Uh, no. For, no. Mm -mm. Half. Teacher. Half. The correct Teacher. answer is half. Yes, tell me. Oh, no, I got it. That's fine. That's fine. Go ahead. Used to have, right? Yo tenía, solía tener. I, we used to have a pet before we moved to the city. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Next one. Uh, who wants to go next? Let me see. I can't know your model. Stephanie. You 
blank, it's a question, right? You blank yes. business meetings at the beginning of your career. Did you? Used to? Used to um, give? Sería como give, right? Estoy como entre give and do. Do, do, do. Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, next person, Anna. Mark blank up as a pirate at Halloween. Used to, right? It's impositive. Anna, Tai. Used to. Used to go? Mm, no. Tenemos. Let me show you the words. Mira, él está vestido, ¿verdad? Attend, blow, build, climb, do, dress, drink. ¿Cuál sería? ¿Ah? Fight. Fly. Fly. Used to fight. 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 Cinco. Como fight. Or fly. F I Y. Ah, fly, fly, fly. Ah, ajá. Fly es volar. Pero look at the picture. Uh -huh. Está volando. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Eh? No. So, no. Look, look at the sentence. Mark blank as a pirate at Halloween. Mark used to dress. Give, give, give dress. Ah, dress. Yes, el solía vestirse. Mark used to dress up as a pirate at Halloween. Yes, correct. Okay, next, uh, let's see, who else? Uh, we have Nestro, again. And then Andrea. Uh, Nestro, Sue blank her grandparents' lawn because her grandparents didn't let her. Nestro, está ahí? Yes. You're thinking, okay. Look, I think it's gonna be negative. Why? Because he says Sue blank her grandparents' lawn because her grandparents didn't let her. So no le, no le permitieron hacerlo, entonces. Sue didn't, didn't mm -hmm. use to do. Eh, no, remember, había una palabra que yo dije que era cortar grama aquí en el vocabulario. Mo. 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 Yes. Do you understand what mo is? It's cutting grass. It's to cut the grass. Eso significa mo. Okay, very good. Next one, um, Andrea. Um, I used to do cartwheels during the PE classes. Yes, I used to do cartwheels during the PE classes. Ya usamos do? Yes, aquí. Yeah. Did you used to do? Did you used to skip, pay, mow, dress, do, climb? Yeah. Attend. This one is attend. Did you used to attend? Como asistir. Okay, very good. Very good, Andrea. Uh, let's see, Michelle. Pete blank soap bubbles when he was a kid. Pete, blow, Pete used to blow soap bubbles when he was a kid. Very good, Michelle. Correct. Blow. Blow es como soplar, right? Very good. And the next one, uh, let's see, who else do we have? Um, let's see here, uh, Eric. I blank on dates until I was 18. I used to go on dates until I was 18. Okay, now think about this. It says until I was 18, so 
I didn't, I didn't go on dates. I, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't used to. I didn't used to go, go on date. Ya usamos go? No, creo que no hemos usado go, eh? No. I don't remember. Okay, very good. Next one. Uh, let's say, who else do we have? Um, Rafael. My grandpa crossword puzzles when he was at my age. He found them boring. Lástima que no puedo tachar las la que ya usamos. So. So. Como resolver. Ah, yes. So. Ahí está. My, pero is it positive or negative? My grandpa used to solve crossword puzzles when he was at my age. He found them boring. Negative. Negative or positive? Mm. Because dice, dice que al final hay una oración que dice porque él los encontró aburrido. Yeah, he didn't like it. Yeah, he didn't like it, right? So, mm -hmm. my grandparent didn't used to didn't solve. Used to. So. Very good. Uh, next, Wilfredo. I blank with building blocks when I was younger. No sé si ya usamos play. Mm, no. I... Uh, I used to. I used to. I used to, to play with body blocks with was younger. When I was younger, very good. Okay, excellent. And the last one, uh, let's say, who else? Uh, let's say, Carla. Tommy blank trees when he visited you in the countryside. Ah, but it's a question. ¿Cuál sería? If it's a question. Yes. Did, did Tommy mm -hmm. use? Use to. And then the verbs that we have is attend, blow, build, climb. Climb is like uh, when you're climbing a ladder or you're climbing in a hill. What do you think it is? Uh, I don't know. It's difficult. <laughs> Climb. Yeah. Yeah, look at the picture. He's Why? climbing a tree. I need a picture. Oh. Right oh, here. Yes. Um, skip? No. no, skip no. Climb. Look, climb. Tommy, did did Tommy used to climb trees when he, he visited you in the countryside? Yes, so the verb is climb. 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 Climbing a tree. Okay, let's we check. Now. Uh huh. Prepare. Como trepar o subir. Exacto. So let's check. I don't know. I think maybe tenemos una que estaba en cuestión. What? Ah, I think this is negative. O será que yo no las puse, like, no pude escribirlas. Yo vi que um, used to. Ah, no. This one, used to. Alguien me dijo que, que tal vez no tenía lógica, ¿verdad? Porque estaba en primary school. But according to the answers, it's used to. Uh, Mr. Smith used to pay taxes when he was 15 years old. Ah, okay. No quieren que usemos la lógica. <laughs> All right. Alice used to skip. Used, ah, did Alice used to skip row in the schoolyard playground? Okay. Did Alice used to skip? Pensé que le escribí bien. Teacher, uh -huh. the green ones are the correct. The, the pink ones, I think, are the wrong ones. Est estará al revés. I think so. No, but, no, porque si yo le pongo aquí el mouse, no me da la respuesta correcta en, la, en las azules. Pero si mm -hmm. yo le doy a click aquí en el mouse, me dice, right answer. Didn't mm -hmm. use to drink or did, did not to? use to drink. Pero yo ah, puse eso. Negative. Well, he didn't use to drink. That's why. Ah, no, ya sé, lo, ya sé lo que pasó. ¿Sabes lo que puse yo? Le puse una D al final de use. Oh. Yo cometí el error de spelling. 
That's why it's wrong. Uh -huh. <laughs> y fue una regla que les dije al principio de la clase. And the green one is right, right? It's correct. The green one is correct, yes. Entonces, yo creo que ahí, eso es lo que pasó. So, para, para aclarar eso, let me see. <clears throat> yo les puse cuatro ejemplos, right? En, al inicio de la clase, les dije que primero está used to. I used to play baseball when I was a kid. Okay. Number two, I didn't used to play. Now, lo que pasa es esto, que si yo pongo ed, está mm -hmm. mal. It's too, it's too uh, uh, fast and the same. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, use, use it. the correct way is used. ¿Por qué used? Porque ya estoy usando el verbo auxiliar que pone todo, okay. todo mm -hmm. los restos del verbo en, lo, en el pasado. Eso es lo que hice. And then, number three was the questions. Did you used to play basketball? Wrong. When you were a kid. Okay. Wrong, too. Hmm? You have ah, this? yes. Correct. See, sí, yo tengo esa costumbre. So uh -huh. just be careful. Okay. Be careful with that. Uh, and then the question, esta no, no está en la hoja de trabajo, pero es WH. What did you use to play when you were little? Little me refiero a edad. What did you use to play when you were little? Okay. Very good. So this can be the different questions. So be careful with that. When you use did, be careful. Okay, very good. So I want to um, I want to give you here another worksheet that we're going to do. Let me see. Uh -huh. Okay, so esto es lo que tengo planeado para ahora. Let's go to the worksheet that I have. Let me see. Ah, aquí está. Aquí está. So if you look here, this is the the different, uh, basically, esto es lo mismo que está en el, en el, en el video de, de la plataforma. Solo que lo saqué aquí de esta página de, de worksheets. So you have used to, and you can use it in affirmative, okay? If you look here in affirmative, uh, it's with ED. Usamos el ED for affirmative, okay? But for negative, we use did, entonces el verbo es use okay and then question uh there is no ed ending unless who or what is the subject of the question did you esta la que estamos practicando did you and your friends used to play soccer very good now what happens if negative if, si quiero hacer la pregunta pero negativo didn't you didn't you used to prefer chocolate ice cream? So, no necesito ED. All right, very good. So, eh, le voy a mandar esta hoja so that we can go to groups and we're going to practice, okay? So, let me, the, so le voy a enseñar las instrucciones. Okay, instructions, it says fill in the blanks with used or ED to and the base verb given. So, aquí le van a dar el verbo. So, you're going to use, lo mismo que hicimos, used to play, positive, or negative, didn't used to. Okay? So, aquí podemos practicar un poco esa regla de, de spelling. All right, let's go to groups. I'm going to give you this. Se lo voy a poner ahí en WhatsApp. Let's go to groups. Uh, let, let's work. So, cada, cada quien, hay, hay dos formas que puedan trabajar. Cada quien, aunque están así como en dos o tres, parejas de dos o tres, lo que pueden hacer es cada quien vaya, vaya a la página y trabaje de ahí. O, o hay otra opción, si alguien quiere compartir su pantalla para, para el grupo. ¿Ah? Ahí como, como ustedes quieran. Ok. Uh, accept the invitation, please. Go to the groups, accept the invitation, please.
<clears throat> Wilfredo, go to the group, please. Okay, very good. So, um, alguien tiene computadora? Aquí, Wilfredo, Andrea. I do, but okay. uh, I don't have access to the platform yet. Ah, okay. Pero tenés access a uh, uh, internet. Yes. Yes. Okay. Entonces, del del link, viste dónde puse el link de la de la hoja que vamos a trabajar? La puse en WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Ah, yo no lo he visto. Ah? Yo no lo, no lo he visto todavía, no me he caído. Está en WhatsApp. Permíteme. ¿En WhatsApp? Ah, permíteme. Creo que lo puse en la computadora, pero tengo que prender mi teléfono. Para, ah, que, sí. para que se vaya el mensaje. Ahí está. Ahí está. <coughs> I live in the apartment. I I I use you to live in the apartment. Okay. <clears throat> so um, no sé si Andrea va a compartir la pantalla y así pueden trabajar los dos. Y Andrea, tú puedes escribir. Si sí puedes, si, si no puedes, pues eh, cada quien puede trabajar de, de su teléfono o su compu. Yo estoy desde de, de un, de, de un teléfono. I'll, I'll share the screen, just give me a sec. Ah, sigue, sigue trabajando y después le, le pasa la respuesta, Wilfred. Okay. No. Sí. Aquí podemos usar Use to Play. Sí, Use to Play. You do. I used to live in the second verse. Do you wish you used to? No more chocolate. You know, I'm a chocolate. Do you in the life? Hi, teacher. Okay. <clears throat> Did you guys find the worksheet? Encontraron yes. la worksheet, ¿sí? Yes, yes, yes. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Entonces, ¿al, ¿alguien tiene compu? ¿Ustedes? Eh, yo, pero lo estoy haciendo desde el teléfono. Ah, ok. Yeah, ok, entonces, sí. cada quien, pero compartan la respuesta. Uno puede hacer una a la vez. Eh, oh, eso estamos ¿dónde? haciendo. Ok. Yo hice las primeras cuatro y él ya hizo hasta la ocho. Ok, all right, very good. She used to study, pero esa palabra no sé qué significa. Study. It's Swedish. Ah, uh, uh, Swedish. Uh, uh, Switzerland, Suecia. But, but uh, speaking about the language. Okay. Mm -hmm. It used to get warmer in the summer. 
studying English. Sorry? Just to get. This is negative. My yes, family. My family during used to. To, to practice grammar together. You have you have the, the same. Um, you do the same thing that I do. We didn't. <laughs> yeah. I, I was I, I was not good at that. Point. The skill about using to pick. Yes. To pick up. To pick up. Pick up. Uh, how, do you, how do you say that? Used to pick us up? Pick us up. Mm -hmm. pick the up. school bus used to pick us up. Mm -hmm. They say can. Yeah, that's correct. Pick us up. Mm -hmm. Hi. The Hello. Student. <laughs> <laughs> you were there. <laughs> Didn't use. Okay, very good. Por donde van? Um, yo voy resolviendo apenas la tercera. Yo voy por, ya le digo. Por la 10, pero tengo una consulta. Uh -huh. se, me, se me ha ido el, el verbo en, en pasado del get. ¿Es got o got? Uh, get, got, gotten. So it's get, got. Uh -huh. Got. And y después hay un tercer over. tiempo que sería el past participle, gotten. But ahorita solo están usando el okay. past. Eh, y... Um, pero ¿estás seguro que tienes que es, ponerlos en el pasado? Sí. Eh, por, sí, porque dice it used to got. O sea, está hablando solo con el use, no está con el did. No, pero eh, cuando tú estás haciendo en positivo, right, mira la hoja allá arriba, el ejemplo que, que, que tienen allá arriba, el primero. Oh, sí, sí, ya me había equivocado. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? Porque ya hay un verbo que es used. Es una frase, used to. Entonces, ese sí. used to pone el resto, lo, 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 lo que tú vas a decir después, en el pasado. Ah, en sí, este sí, caso, verdad. Play, por ejemplo. Sí, sí, me había equivocado ahí. Ahorita lo, lo corrí. She, she does. Ya me perdí. She, she used to study Swedish. Swedish. Ah, bueno, no, no lo puedo pronunciar muy bien. She used to study on Swedish. Swedish, ajá. Right. Y el, el, el 10, it. 
и get, get это get get warmer in the summer estamos en el 10 Este vocabulario no me lo sé muy bien. El, el, el último, summer. Get warmer in the summer. O sea, está caliente en, en el verano. No hay familia. Ana, tiene... Estoy perdida aquí. Hay un eco. No sé si tú escuchas ese eco. Yo sí. Sí. No sé si, si usted tiene dos dispositivos abiertos. Yo tengo el celular porque ahí veo las preguntas. ¿Y la computadora? No sé si, y la computadora donde estoy viendo los... Excuse me, uh, teacher. Somebody else there. Yes, hello. I just I have a question. I yes. we with my partner we uh -huh. did a question and, and the exercise, right? Uh -huh. And in the questions, the use the use has to be with the no, in the question. no, in the question, no, because but but in the right. La marcó como na, como mala y en la, correcta, en la respuesta correcta tenía la de. O sea que por no agregar de D la marcó mala. No, este, ¿en cuál hoja te estás refiriendo? ¿En la, ¿En la que hicimos juntos o la que les di aquí para trabajar en, en equipo? Eh, yeah, no, we work right now. ¿En la que estábamos haciendo ahorita? ¿En la questions at the end? Yes. Yeah. Ok. En esa misma hoja está la explicación de las preguntas. Tú vas arriba. En esa misma hoja. ¿Te acuerdas que había un, un cuadrito amarillo? Ajá, uh -huh, yeah. Ok, si tú, vas, si tú vas ahí, entonces ahí está la, lo de la pregunta. Solamente que te fijaste que dice de who and what. ¿Leíste eso que dice? Estoy en las preguntas. Dice, there is no ED ending. Unless who or what is the subject of the question. Si tú usas oh. who or what, entonces sí tienes que usar ed. All right. Ok. Ahí mismo te lo explica, pero este, lo que más me quiero enfocar aquí es positive and negative. And okay. questions, questions we did. La cuarta es como algo extra que pueden hacer, que es questions with wh plus used to. Ok, very good. So, If you didn't finish, it's okay. La pueden trabajar eh, ahora o mañana. Tienen algo extra para hacer. Eh, entonces, este, esta lección es, es el video de la 1.9. Si no me equivoco. Quiero ver. 1.10 y 1.13. Ok. Es prácticamente lo, eh, eh, eso cubre estas hojas de trabajo que les di. Ok, I want to touch another topic. I want to quickly look at another topic. So I want to show you the video, section two. It's talking about count and non-count nouns. Ok, did somebody see this video? Did somebody see it? ¿Ya lo vieron? Section 2.1, no? Ok, no problem. Si no la han visto, está bien. Le voy a dar play. Ok. I want you to notice something here. We're talking about things that you can count, things that you can't count. Ok. Estamos hablando de nouns. What is a noun? A person, a place, or a thing, or an idea. Ok. For example, uh, an example of a, of a, a non-count noun. Uh, pollution. Pollution is a noun. Pero puedo contar pollution? Es decir, puedo decir one pollution, two pollution, three pollutions. No, ¿verdad? No puedo decir. Entonces, es un non-count noun. Okay. 
So I want to play. I want to show you this video. All right. This class, you'll be able to describe problems country. in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So, for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. For example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking, those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat flower, things like sports, soccer, all of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that is important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is... Okay, very good. Eh, hasta ahí va a llegar porque después, después va como una conversación que ustedes pueden escuchar y identificar los count nouns, ok? So, les dejo este video como el teacher que puedan tener y en cualquier momento lo pueden ver, ok? Did everybody understand the difference between uh, count nouns and non-count nouns? Ok? Yes. All right. So, hay cosas que puedo contar, right? For example, um, uh, books. I can count books. Okay. Now there are things that I cannot count. For example, uh, sugar. Puedo contar sugar? No, directamente no. no. Okay. Pero si le pongo una unidad de peso, sí. For example, can I have one pound of sugar? Can I have one kilo of sugar? Entonces sí. Sí lo puedo contar, pero lo tengo que encajar dentro de una unidad de peso, ¿ok? Una unidad de, de medida. Ok, so I want, to, I want you to help me with this exercise, ¿ok? Help me here. Solo nos queda cinco minutos de clase, but you can help me here. We have uh, count nouns and non-count nouns. O se lo conoce también como uncountable, but it's the same thing, okay? So maybe you can help me put it together. Now, the count, the count nouns can be singular or it can be plural, okay? So for example, Eric, what do you think dollar? Is it a singular. count noun? Huh? A count. A count. Count noun and singular, right? Singular. Or plural? Singular. Very good. Rafael, banana, what do you think? Plural. 
a plural countable, right? Yes, yes. You can count it. Okay, very good. Michelle, music. What do you think about music? I think it's non-count. Non uncountable, non-count noun. Very good. Mm -hmm. Porque no podemos contar música, right? Bottles. Uh, Stephanie, bottles, what do you think? In plural? Yes, plural. Count nouns, right? You can count it. Yes, right? Okay. Furniture. furniture. What is that? The furniture is, for example, um, Mueble. 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 yes, something that you put in the house mm -hmm. to decorate your house or, you know, for something that you need for your house to sit down or, okay, furniture, what do you think, countable or non-countable? Countable. Countable. Mm -hmm. uh, un un countable or non countable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Porque no puedes decir one furniture, two furniture, three furniture. No, right? You can't say it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Happiness. Uh, let's see. Uh, who do we have? Andrea, happiness. What do you think? Uncountable. Uncountable. Very good. Nestro, children. Countable. Countable and then singular or plural? Yeah, plural. Plural, yes. Uh -huh. Children, more than one. Plural. Yeah. Okay, very good. Um, Wilfredo, money. Countable. Uh, plural. Countable, plural. Uh, podemos sí. decir uh, one money, two money, three money. No. No. Non-countable. No. Non-countable. Very good. News. Uh, Wilfredo, what do you think? News? Noticias. Uh, countable? Puedo contar noticias. One news. Una noticia, dos noticias. <laughs> no, 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 no tiene sentido, right? No lo puedo contar. One news, two news, three news. No, right? I can't count it. It's just a, it's un, un subject, it's just a thing. Okay? For example, okay. Otra, otra forma de ver esto es, ¿puedo tocarlo y contarlo en mis manos? Ah. No, no, right? No. All right, very good. Uh, let's say another one, information. Um, let's say, who do we have? Michelle, information, what do you think? I think it's uncountable. Uncountable, yes, because I can't count it, right? Um, next, um, Stephanie, and, uh, advice, advice. Uncountable. Uncountable, right? Advice is como consejo, right? All right, trash? What is trash? Basura. Uh, basura. Uncountable. Uncountable. Basura. Now here, I, I have a question because if you're talking about physically trash or if you're using it as a descriptive, I don't know. What do you think? Countable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Uncountable, okay. Uh, shoes? Countable, plural, right? Plural. Yes. Song. Uncount no, a song can be una canción. One song, two songs, three songs. Countable. But here is only one song. Singular. For example, my my computer, in my computer I have 20 songs. Pictures. Plural. Plural, but it's counter. So, entonces tenemos una que no, no encaja. What do you think? Maybe banana is singular. Ah, singular, yes. Very good. Good observation. Entonces, should be okay. 
All right, very good. So after this worksheet, eh, lo que ustedes pueden hay que, let me see, select whether each noun is a singular count noun. Ah, okay. Es como ver el noun aquí, por ejemplo, family. What is family? Countable or countable? Uncountable, singular, or plural. So, entonces, ahí ustedes van a elegir. Section, that's uh, section three. Section, perdón, section two. Section three, eh, esto no lo hemos visto, pero si quieren hacerlo, pueden hacerlo. Put an A or an N. Uh, for singular, you use A, N. Aquí mismo te lo explica, okay? And you guys can try to work it. All right? So, I'm, go I'm going to give you that worksheet. Ya se lo voy a pasar, okay? so that you can have it in WhatsApp. And also, if you want to watch the video in section number two, el cual vimos, pueden ver otra vez. De hecho, hay otra actividad allí después que, que ya no la puse. All right, so I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? I'm sorry, not tomorrow, Monday. 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 See you Monday. tomorrow. But, ¿qué hacemos Monday. durante el fin de semana? Continuamos trabajando, ¿verdad? El fin de semana, continúen trabajando. Eh, repasando, se pueden adelantar, pueden de, de hecho pueden ver toda la sección 2 para estar preparados para la otra semana. No hay problema, como ustedes quieran. Ok. All right, very good. I'll see you next week, Monday. Thank you. Bye.